Hi folks, my name is Ron Rosenstock. I'm a photographer, a photo teacher, and an international photo tour leader. And I'd like to show you a few of my photographs that I've made during my Italy tours. And uh, I have a, a trip coming up this uh, a year from October that I wanna tell you about. But uh, first we're gonna start off in Florence. So I'm gonna go to screen share. So give me a second to get that organized. And I'm gonna move this over and click on the first photo and get rid of my little picture and go to full screen. And here we are. Okay, um, generally the first morning that we're in Florence, we get up nice and early and walk over to the Arno River. And uh, this is the way the Ponte Vecchio looks from the Santa Trinita Bridge. So I know just the right time to get you all there at the exact right moment. And we have these wonderful reflections, you know, in the Arno. This is the, the so sort of the standard way I start my trip off in Florence. Uh, I, I like to work early in the morning um, just because uh, we're the only ones out there. You know, during the day, it can be very, very crowded. Now we walk to the other side of the Ponte Vecchio. By the way, Ponte Vecchio means old bridge. Vecchio means old and Ponte is bridge. So this uh, photograph was made right by the Uffizi Corridor. And you see the little streak of red on the right side? Now that was a little bonus. A, a pickup truck passed uh, and that's its, one of its taillights during a, during a time exposure. So you just never know what's gonna pop into your lens. Here we have uh, one of my groups photographing the Duomo. Uh, this huge cathedral in the center of Florence. And this is the photograph that I made uh, without the, the group there. This is in a, a street where I take people, it's called Via Della Studio. There's also a wonderful little gourmet shop on that street that we go to later on when they're open. Then we photograph the Duomo from different vantage points. You know, it's famous because of the, the dome, it's called the Brunelleschi Dome. And that was built 400 years after the, uh, the, the Dromo itself was built. So it was open to the, to the wind and the rain and the sky for all those years, waiting for some genius to come along and invent a way to make this huge dome. And Brunelleschi did that. And this is the photograph from that vantage point where I take people on top of a privately owned tower to be able to get as much as the, the Dromo wind as possible. Then after four days in Florence, we go off to Tuscany, wonderful Tuscany. Uh, the food is fantastic. We stay in a wonderful villa right in the middle of a vineyard. So we have the olive groves and, 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 the, and, the, and the pine, and uh, it is just really amazing. The only danger in this trip is gaining a few pounds from some fabulous cooking. And uh, you have to watch uh, the, the wine consumption because it goes down like water. It's absolutely delicious. This is taken in the old cellar of one of the, the vineyards that we visit where we have a, uh, sort of a wine tasting and a lunch as well. Uh, this is outside uh, the wall, a very special place that I know in San Gimignano. And uh, every time I go there, it's a different light show. Now, uh, my trip is in the fall, so you know the, the evenings are cool, and then when the sun comes out, it, it, it starts warming up the sky, and uh, you get some really wonderful uh, lighting conditions with the sun coming through the, the low clouds. Then the old olive trees. This is taken in Panzano. Um, no, sorry, Pienza. Uh, it's taken in Pienza, and um, near San Antimo. Uh, a wonderful, a uh, very, very old cathedral founded by Charlemagne. This, this particular olive tree can easily be a few hundred years old. They trim them back every year and they just keep on growing. This is a wonderful little church, a famous little church that many photographers stop at. Um, and uh, it's just a, a tiny little chapel, uh, chapel also on the way to uh, uh, Pienza. Then we have an extension, a Venice extension. And uh, again, working early in the morning before there are any tourists out on the streets, we photographed San Marco, you know, with these wonderful street lights in the foreground. 
Um, another morning we walk over to the Rialto Bridge and get there uh, just as the sky begins to open up a little bit and still there are no tourists around, perfectly still. Another uh, morning we might just walk along the canal and photograph San Giorgio Maggiore, the uh, beautiful church. Uh, uh, a part of our trip also is to go up in the tower of uh, the, uh, the, the uh, San Giorgio Maggiore church there and photograph them up there where you can see all of Venice. And the wonderful gondolas. I know a place where we go to late afternoon, we get these wonderful reflections in, in, the, in the water with uh, the, the gondola in the foreground. And then one of my favorite restaurants that we go to, um, weather permitting, we eat outside. This was in October and you see people just, uh, you know, without jackets, it's, it's quite comfortable in Italy in October. Then we do a, this is a sunrise place I go to that's uh, from a certain vantage point on um, the Academia Bridge. I did this many, many years ago, with the sun right between the domes of the, that wonderful uh, church, the Maria, Santa Maria, Maria Church. And here's another beautiful uh, sunset from another vantage point further down past our hotel. So there's just so much to see in Venice. Can't get tired of it. Even on a foggy, misty morning, um, I could take you to a place where we just wait for someone to come along in the foreground, as this gentleman did on his gondola. Well, this is some of the details. The trip dates October 16 to 26, 2021. It was a 10-day trip with a Venice extension. Now, all the information for this trip is on this website, www.phototc.com. It's the Strabo Photo Tour Collection. As you see the phone number there, 607-756-8676. So please contact them, get a free brochure. It's a fabulous trip. I've been doing it for so many years. And every time I leave there, I can't wait to go back and, and photograph some more and to be able to share some of these wonderful places with the people I bring. Hey, thanks for tuning in. I am going to stop the share now and go back to me. Hey, here I am. Okay, uh, I'm sitting in my studio in, in Holden, Massachusetts, just sort of waiting to start traveling again. And I hope uh, you'll be with me again in 2021. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.